Appointments are now available for COVID-19 vaccine booster shots at Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton, and starting next week, appointments will be available for pediatric vaccines. Our Lisa Sugar talked with Dr. Jody Lanko, Vice Chair of the Department of Medicine for Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton on Wednesday to learn more. There's been a lot of movement in the past couple of weeks, um, like you said, with the booster uh, shots, as well as with the new indication for um, children uh, now eligible for vaccine. So starting with the boosters, um, for the past uh, probably five to six weeks, we've been uh, giving booster shots for the Pfizer vaccine. Um, that's been around for a little bit longer. Uh, and then more recently in the past uh, two, two to three weeks, we've uh, been giving more booster shots for uh, patients that have received their first dose with either Moderna or Johnson & Johnson. So now, regardless of which vaccine you received initially, you, um, if you are in a certain category of people that are at high risk, uh, you're now eligible for a booster. Um, and those people that are at high risk are anybody over the age of 65, anybody that lives in a long-term care facility or a group facility, um, anybody with a long-term, uh, a chronic medical condition like diabetes or heart disease, um, regardless of their age. Um, uh, as long as they're over 18 for those certain vaccines. Um, and then certain people that work in the healthcare setting, uh, grocery store workers, teachers, uh, 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 medical personnel, et cetera. Um, all of those are eligible for um, a booster shot if, uh, as long as they meet a certain cri time criteria. I know they said now we are allowed to mix the, the vaccines, but what if I say I would like to get my booster the same as I got my first two shots? Am I able to do that? Yeah, so that's actually the CDC's recommendation is to stick with the same um, uh, vaccine that you had, especially if it's with one of the mRNA vaccines. So if you had Moderna, the recommendation is to stick with Moderna for your booster shot. If you had Pfizer, it's the recommendation is to stick with uh, the Pfizer as your booster shot. Um, it gets a little bit trickier in terms of if you had Johnson & Johnson as your first vaccine. Uh, we do ask that you usually discuss with your healthcare provider about that. There seems to be a little bit more wiggle room in that if you wanted to get um, one of the other vaccines, such as Pfizer or Moderna, after having the first uh, one-time dose of Johnson & Johnson, uh, that appears to be acceptable, um, and, and patients are indeed doing that. Now, children ages 5 to 11, they are now approved to get the COVID vaccine. Are parents taking advantage of that? Uh, tell us about this. So this is hot off the press as of yesterday. Um, it was endorsed by the FDA last week and we were waiting for the CDC panel to meet and Dr. Walensky to uh, approve it as of late last night. And it indeed was approved um, as we expected it to be. Uh, so it's very exciting. And this is only for the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, this is not for any other vaccines right now for ages five and up. And in fact, for adolescents as well, the only approved vaccine for um, uh, uh, the adolescents um, is also for the Pfizer vaccine. Um, so they did meet and found that this, uh, the study group of children aged five to 11 uh, was uh, found to be very safe, very effective, and it is a smaller dose of a vaccine. So it's about a third the dose of the, um, the regular Pfizer vaccine, about uh, 10 micrograms compared to uh, 30 micrograms in a normal dose. Um, so the, the, the uh, panel agreed that this was very safe, very effective, and uh, unanimously voted yesterday to um, um, approve the vaccine. And what should people do if they're wondering, you know, if they have questions about getting the vaccine for their child? Yeah, so it's, it's really uh, new. We've been planning for it, um, trying to get a sense of when it was going to happen and how we're going to, uh, uh, to implement it along with giving the booster shots as well in our vaccine clinics. Uh, starting um, as soon as Friday, I believe, Lehigh Valley will be starting to give uh, pediatric doses. Um, in Hazleton, we're starting on Monday with our uh, Lehigh, uh, the vaccine clinic at the hospital in Hazleton. Um, and our, our hospital clinic hours are 12 to six. And right now we're not taking any walk-ins just because of the popularity of the booster shots and trying to make, uh, make the, the wait time not um, very long for people that have scheduled appointments. So it has been very popular. We have been receiving phone calls even in my office and I don't even have to uh, take care of children in the office, but family members trying to figure out how to get their kids vaccinated. You uh, should call to register, correct, for any vaccine? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so we can use our, you know, the My LVHN portal is a good way to use to directly schedule. Um, if you go on to uh, the LVHN website, there are um, uh, different uh, resources there to schedule. Uh, but yes, we do ask that you schedule these vaccines. 
I am not 100% certain, but I have heard that pharmacies will also be administering the vaccine. Uh, but this is so new, we're still trying to, to figure out who and when and how all of these things are going to happen. But it is very exciting, and uh, we're hoping to get that this next group of uh, uh, the population uh, vaccinated because they've actually had a pretty significant increase um, in cases um, among children, um, even though they're less likely to become severely ill. Uh, they are uh, a much higher percentage of cases uh, than they were a year ago. Today's news feature is brought to you by Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton. For more information on their specials, hours, and where you can find their delicious tavern pizza, you can call 570-454-6000 or you can visit their Facebook page.